Well, hello YouTube. This is the Bruce City Rider coming back at you. Today, I'm going to just show you my new uh, knife and then I'm going to show you how to install the cold steel C-clips on it. So stay tuned. Okay, I was looking for a smaller survival uh, rescue style knife. Uh, if you saw my uh, one of my last videos, you know that I picked up this Schrade Frontier. Awesome, awesome budget survival knife. I wanted something with similar capabilities, but something smaller that I could uh, conceal easier and just carry on a regular basis. Um, you know, especially if I'm out uh, camping or out on uh, uh, walks in the woods and that type of thing. Uh, so what I ended up picking up is this uh, Cold Steel SRK in SK5 steel. SK5 steel is very similar to a, uh, a 1080 high carbon steel. That's about what it equates to. I believe it's a Japanese version of 1080. So this one, uh, the blade length is 6 inches. Overall length 10 and 3 quarters. Weighs... Uh, 7.9 ounces and it's got a 5 mil blade thickness which is about 0.2 inches uh, it's got a fully molded Crayx handle with a full uh, tang on it not exposed though all right so I'm not going to uh, demo this knife because it's been out for I don't know how long like 10 years or so and there's dozens of videos on YouTube already showing its capabilities. Suffice it to say, if you look any of those up, it, it's an awesome, awesome blade. So let's get to it. This came separately. This is the Cold Steel Large C-Clip. It's a different way of attaching the uh, sheath to your belt or to your um, backpack or whatever type of pack you got. So this is the purpose of this video. I'm going to show you how to attach these. Get you a look at the knife. Set that aside. There she is. So it comes, uh, it's their own proprietary material, but it's not uh, Kydex. It's some type of a Kydex plastic uh, hybrid. It's called Securex. And uh, it's a form-fitting sheath. Here's the knife. It's got an awesome grip on it. Nice palm swell. Big lanyard hole for those of you that like lanyards. And it does have a full tang, as I said, even though it's not exposed. And 0.2 thickness. Also, uh, five millimeters. Don't mind my uh, Chihuahua barking in the background. It's got a slight uh, um, clip point on it with a little bit of a swedge, but it's not sharp, and you can see it's still thick all the way up until the last half inch or so. And it, com it comes uh, razor sharp, hair shaving sharp. All right, so I'll give you a little size comparison to my Schrade 52 Frontier. There you go. You see that? The Schrade's a 13 inch knife overall, seven and a half inch blade. Similar type handles. This has got, the Schrade's got the exposed tang. The Schrade is 0.22 thick, and it's a drop point blade. All right, so the sheath comes with this uh, loose floppy top portion, which is a nice heavy duty ballistic nylon. There's your belt loop there. It unsnaps, and it's just attached with these uh, screws and nuts here. 
And you can see the sheath has all kinds of attachment points. You can mount it uh, uh, right side or left side or uh, horizontal carry or whatever you want to do. So today we're going to take this piece off and I'm going to mount these large C-clips in their place. And I've been uh, placing it all around my waist to see where it would work best and I think it's going to work best in a uh, vertical carry on my left side, uh, which is my uh, weak side. Because if I have my pistol on, that'll be on my right side, so I can't put it over there. So that's what I think I'm going to do. It's a little long for horizontal carry, um, other than on your back, but I don't, I don't like that uh, scout carry because if you fall on your back, whether in a fight or hiking or whatever, you don't want something mounted on your lower back to be jammed into you. It's a sure way to get injured. So uh, all you need it looks like is a number one Phillips it looks like. So that's what I got here. Yep, number one. So we'll go ahead and take this off. It's just two screws. Looks like there's a washer. Screw, nope, it's not a washer, it's a rivet. Underneath here, also no washer. Here we go. So this is what it screws into. All right, we'll set those aside. There we go. So I'll hang on to that, of course. It's very nice. One of the one of the reasons I'm putting these C clips on is I want to have this uh, as concealable as possible, and in Using this system, it hangs several inches lower, so I'm going to mount my C-clips down here, so that's going to effectively move the knife, uh, yeah, way up here, for better concealment. And this, uh, they also make small C-clips, uh, but uh, they do list on their uh, website which clips you need for which knife. So the SRK is a larger knife and uh, you put the large C-clips on. So let's uh, cut her open and see what we got. And if I didn't mention it, there are no instructions with these. So I'm going to just look at the hardware, see what I got and figure it out and then I'll bring you back in and show you what I decide to do. Cut it open with uh, one of my budget folders. As you know, I'm into budget knives, fixed end and folders. This is an Ethan Grow CSS333 D2 steel, and the thing is an absolute tank. Frame lock, some blue highlighting in there. Watch the closing action on this. Strong detent. Look at that. Unbelievable. That's like a. $20, $25 knife. All right, enough of that. All right, I'm gonna dump out the contents here and we'll see what we got. So as you see, it comes with two clips. And you don't have to use both, it just depends on how you wanna mount it and how large your knife is. Okay, bag's empty. So we got the two C-clips and a ton of washers, nuts, screws. All right, well, I'll get this sorted out and then I'll come back and show you what I ended up doing. Okay, I got everything laid out. Just wanted to show you that. Like I said, the two C-clips, it's got 
12 of these spacers, four small washers, four nuts, and four screws. Okay guys, here's how I'm going to mount it. I'm going to mount these clips um, up high because I'm raising the, the whole sheath up several inches and uh, it's a large knife and, and you have to be able to clear your sheath. So I want these up high and this is what I ended up doing. And there's the nut, here's the spacer, the spacers below the clip and then I got the screw and the washer on top of the clip. So now I'm going to install the lower side. I think I'm going to slide this out of the way like so. So I'm going to prepare my screw and washer. There's that. Got my nut and my spacer. All right, so let's see. Let's uh, put the nut in the bottom. Okay. And then put my spacer right on top. And then I'm going to lift this. And I'm gonna, it's a, kind of tough to work with these little parts, but and show you on camera. But I'm going to lift the clip up over so it holds everything in place. And then I'm going to drop my screw and washer through the top. through the whole works. There we go. Hopefully you can see this. Nice. Same thing on the other side. Now the to get this one started, it's a little harder getting the screw in there. You got to put it on its side and then kind of flip it in to place. Uh, I'll attempt to do it on camera, but I don't know. We'll see. Screw, washer, And then just kind of lay it in there, pull your clip open a little bit. Uh, I know you probably couldn't see that, but anyway, you get the idea. Okay. Now we'll put the, uh, I'm going to actually get my screwdriver on here. Could use a third hand. There's my spacer. Okay. All right, and I'm holding the whole thing down there with my screwdriver. Now I gotta attempt to get the nut in there. Now my other dog is fussing. Okay. Just put it in there lightly. And there she is. And now the, the last one, screw, washer, let's see, drop that through the C-clip, 
put the washer on the or the uh, spacer on the underside of it. Okay, lift it up through the hole. This bottom one's a lot easier. And then feed your nut on there. There's what she looks like. So this is set up for our left hand vertical carry. I just gotta tighten everything down. You can see your belt goes right in there. You can slip it right over the top of your belt or you can slide your belt through. So we'll try this out and see um, how I like that. Of course, you can, I can uh, lower them if I want to. I guess you can even cant. You can set it up for a, a canted draw as well. And of course, horizontal draw. It's a bit too long of a knife to put on your side horizontal, but you could scout carry it on your lower back. So there you have it. I want to do this video because there's uh, really no um, information on these clips or very little information on the internet and uh, this is a good option um, you can use tech locks on this also that's the more common uh, sheath attachment but it doesn't fit that well on this particular sheath you can only get, um, secure one side so this system I think is going to work out real well Hey guys, I had uh, initially installed this clip in, in this hole so it was in more, so it was more compact. I just wanted to show you that I ended up liking it outside better. This one had to go out there because the uh, sheath is thicker on that side as you can see. So I just wanted to show you that. This is what it looks like from the front. And again I have this set up for uh, left side vertical carry. So there you have it, the Cold Steel SRK, Survival Rescue Knife. All right, that'll do it for the Bruce City Rider on this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope this was helpful. And uh, hope everybody's having a good day. Catch you on the next one. BCR out.